welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vanessa. Thank you so much for watching. And for today, I have for you guys a hair tutorial video. So I have a hair tutorial of how to do this very sexy Kim K Victoria's Secret I'm on the beach hair look. Like kind of like a bridal, I guess, hair look too. And I'm going to show you guys how I slayed my baby edges <laughs> period and if you want to see this hair tutorial just keep on watching because i'm about to start my hair all right so before i get to blow dry my hair i'm going to start off with the, this uh, it's a 10 um the keratin spray i'm going to shake this up and i'm going to spray this Real lightly through my hair. And then for my hair, since I already washed my hair, it's still kind of wet and I want to um, make it volumize a little bit in here. I'm going to spray this big sexy hair. This is the uh, root booster. So I'm going to spray this on my roots. Kind of shake it up in there. So the reason I'm doing this is because when I wash my hair, my and when I blow dryer and curl it, my hair gets like real heavy. So it weighs down my curls, and that's what I do. And now I'm gonna go in with my. Blow. This is my hair blow dried. Um, it is completely dry. And then before I curl it, I want to put some oil in it. Okay, right, so my hair holds oil. I don't recommend this step for everyone. Me personally, it works better for me because my ends get dry. But this is the oil that I use. This is the Chi Argan oil. And with this oil, it's really, really good. I only do one pump. And I just put it on my ends of my hair. But if you, if your hair don't hold curls, I don't recommend to put this on. Um, after you're done blow drying, I do recommend to put it on. Like, uh, while you're blow drying your hair. Or right before you blow dry your hair, I recommend putting it on. But my hair, um, my hair holds curls really well, so... I know my curls are going to stay. So I'm going to part my hair in the middle. And now it's time for the fun parts. Alright. So the curling iron that I use is... I, so I use this Hot Tools curler. Um, this curler, the size of it, I think it's a one inch. Might be less than that. I'm not sure, but I have two. Let me show you guys that one. So this is... I think this is the... One, I don't want to say on here. I think this is the one and a half inch, and this is the one inch. So this one's bigger, um, and this one's smaller. So I'm gonna go on with the smaller one. I do like the big ones. I'm going for more of like a bounce, bounce. With this curler, I always start in the front, and I always do one side first, and then the other side second. So I'm gonna start off with this side. So I'm gonna take a little piece. I always start off with my bang, and you know how this has like a little thing in there. All I do is I wrap it. So I usually when I and I make sure that it's the hottest. So I wrap my hair around it like this. So my hair is going on top of the curlers, and then I'm twisting it, twisting it, twisting it. I do like to hold a little piece, the little piece off, as you can see. So I hold this little piece off. And I let it sit for about like 10 seconds. And then I let it go on my hand. Kind of let it cool down a little bit. And then there goes a the curl. So let me show you guys again. 
So I always work in the front of my face and then work my way back. So I like to do some whole so this side, my right side, I'm gonna go hair on top of the curler, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then hold the hair I hold my ends straight out so that my ends not curly and straight. I personally like that look a lot better for myself. Cause I don't like my ends to be curly. So I like to hold it straight out. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Let it go. Let it cool off. And there goes a curl. So I am gonna brush these curls out in the end, but let me show you guys one more time. So for your right side, you always wanna do the hair on top of the curler. So on top of the curler, twist, twist, twist. Oh shit, let me do that again. Just like this. Hold, hold, hold. And I do try to keep it as close as possible to my scalp. Because I don't like my curls to start like down here. I like them to start up here. So, let's do this bottom piece. So what I mean is, you want to bring it up here. You don't want to start down here and then twist it. Because it's just going to be curly down here. So I'm going to hold this up closer to my uh, scalp. Not too close where you don't where you burn yourself, but like close enough where the curler fits. And I twist it. I let it sit. So Hot Tools is probably one of my favorite curling brands. That's the only that's the only brand that I do highly recommend for curlers. So you see I'm kind of rolling it up to close as close as possible to my scalp. So I'm going to finish curling the rest on this side and I'm going to show you the other side when I'm done. So I usually hold it longer for the bottom part of my hair because my hair falls out faster at the ends. So I do hold for at least like 20 seconds. But you see this is like underneath my hair. So I'm going to hold this a little longer than the top part. Because like I said my top of my hair, I mean the bottom part of my hair always, the curls always fall out the fastest. So you see I kind of like curl it too. Like I, I curl up the, I, or I, as you can see, I do twist up the curler while I'm curling my hair. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. And that is one side curled. I curl. It looks crazy right now because I have to pull it on. I still have to do my baby hairs, but this is it. So that's how you do the right side of the hair. So for the left side, so I do my hair in the middle, but when I'm done uh, curling it, I do move it to the side. So I'm gonna pick up a little piece up here again. So instead of going underwards like this, I do it on top like this. So I do. I lay. I pull the hair out, lay the curler on there, and then I twist the hair on the curler. redo that again because the curl didn't curl the way I wanted to curl so I still hold the hair out at the ends Just like that. so same thing grab the little piece I lay the curler on top and of the hair and then curl wrap my hair on the curler top part 
of the hair. I'm going to grab a little piece. The bigger chunks you do, the lighter the curls are going to be. Or the bigger the curl is going to be. So when you brush it out, it's not like tight curls. So I do recommend to do bigger chunks of hair than smaller chunks. So lay the so like same thing. Grab the chunk, lay the curler on top. Curl it. Wrap the hair on the curler. And then I'm going to finish off the rest of my hair. their hair like this me personally I prefer to curl um I like to brush out my curls because I like more like that wave look so you see I'm grabbing bigger chunks laying the hair on it and twisting it around For the bottom part, I do like to um, hold it a little bit longer because my curls at the bottom always falls out the fastest. My curls not go on. Okay, so let me finish. I'm gonna I think it should be fine. Okay. So this is how it should look when you're done. And after I'm done curling it, I'm gonna run my fingers through it and I'm gonna brush these curls out with my fingers. So when I brush it throughout with when I brush it with my fingers, then I can kind of see like what needs to be curled again. Like you see, this side needs to actually be curled again. So I'm gonna bring this hair out like this. And I'm going to recurl this. And then It's getting them loose, and I don't want to flash anyone. I'm gonna brush this out. So I usually like to kind of mess with the top of it. With my hair, I know my hair. I personally like my hair to look a little bit messy. Um. So as you guys can tell, baby girl looks bouncy. So. I don't like my hair looking like this. So, I'm gonna do kind of like a side part. And then, uh, so since I did the side part, because you guys know I curled my hair in the middle, I did the side part, I'm just gonna fix some of these little curls. So I fixed the curls a little bit, so I just uh, basically curled how I curled this side. I just moved it over. And then I'm going to put hairspray. So me personally, I like the Big and Sexy Hair one. The Tresemme one is also one of my favorites, but this one makes my curls last longer. So what I like to do is I like to hold my hair up like this, and I like to spray it underneath and do it up. Uh, crimp my hair together. 
I don't like doing it from the top down because then it's going to weigh my hair down. And I like my hair to look more full. So I'm just going to hold my hair out, let it spread underneath, and then scrunch it up. Same thing for the other side. So I don't use too much of this hairspray anyways because I still want it to look loose. You don't want to add too much hairspray because if you do add too much hairspray, it's going to get like hard looking. And I still want my hair, I still want to be able to rub my fingers through my hair and I don't want it to be like crunchy. And then time for baby edges. So my hair is super soft. Um, so I do have to use, I use Got To Be Goo to do my baby edges. So let me actually clean this brush off. So you can use just like your regular um, edge control, whatever you use. But I personally, like if you have soft hair like me, you still want that baby hair look. Um, I do recommend to use Got To Be Glue. Got To Be Glue just works best for me. And my baby hairs lay really smooth and they last all day. So all I do is I grab a little bit of amount. I am going to push my hair back. I just had to move the camera up a little bit. So what I like to do, so you see, I have little baby hairs right here. So all I'm gonna do is just lightly add some got to be glue on there. Take my little edge control brush. You can get these from um, Amazon, your local beauty supply store. For sure your local beauty supply store will have it. And all I like to do is brush this Hold it down. Voila. You got your baby edge. So, I'm going to finish doing it right here. Same thing. Brush it down. And hold it. Like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more got to be glue. And I like um the got to be glue too because it doesn't make my hair like flaky. Like I know there's like certain products that make your hair flaky. Um, but yeah, I like to use Got To Be Glue because I feel like Got To Be Glue doesn't make my hair flaky. And it doesn't leave like little white, um, uh, it doesn't make the hair look, it doesn't leave like flaky marks in my hair. I'm gonna add some right here. So this step is optional, but I personally love doing my baby hairs. For my little edges because it just makes my forehead smaller even though I don't have a big forehead I just like the way my forehead looks when I have my baby edges laid and now that I got my baby hairs laid down um like I said this step is optional but me personally I like baby edges and I like it looking slicked down so I'm just fixing my part. I kind of don't like this middle one. I might end up taking that out. So I'm just going to take a makeup pipe and wipe off some of that glue off. But yeah, the middle part of this was, it just was looking too forced for me. So now I'm just going to use the side that has the little comb on it. And I'm just going to comb it out. So this is the baby edges. Cute. But yeah, I didn't like the middle part. I just felt like it looked a little too forced. I don't even know why I did the middle part like that. Sorry, I'm just playing with it a little bit. Okay. But anyways, that is it for this completed hair look. What do you guys think? So with this hair look, um... It's super easy. Like I said, just take the steps that I do and just add it to your 
hair type, I guess. Um, I never really tried this curler with weave before, but it is a hot curler. Um, in the hot tools, I feel like it's probably like the, the best curlers that I ever tried. But I know some stylists don't like um, hot tools. But it's a personal preference. I know for sure that it works really good with natural hair. So if you're a girl that has natural hair, definitely check it out. I think they have it at Ulta. If not, I will have it linked below if it's on Ulta, Amazon. Either or I'll look it up online and link it for you guys. But yeah, I know you guys have been requesting this hair look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini hair tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what you thought about the video, what's your thoughts, um, like, this hair, like, is, is one of my signature looks, like, I love curls. So, yeah, definitely comment below what you thought about the hairstyle and how I did it, and do, what is it, she, Mitchie, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.